Well, the new drip from DYU, their new smart e-bike called the S2. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. That's the box, 21 kilograms. It's fully wrapped in duct tape. So done with the surgery. Let's just pull it out. Box with the accessories, mud guard, and tools right here. Nice. So I have gotten rid of all the cardboard. But check this out, there is quite a lot to do now. First of all, let me get rid of all the plastics. Alright. The saddle came in this rain cover, but sadly it ripped, so I will just throw it away. Okay, so let's check this out. The saddle looks like this. From the bottom, looks like this. This is what the mud guard looks like, and we have to attach it with a metal bracket. Here we have the pedals. We need to screw in those. And then there is also this, this back reflector on a metal bracket. You will also get two of those keys and you will get these tools and we will use these right now for the pedals. But first let's bring up this. Okay, that's sturdy. Okay, here we go with the first pedal. Okay, easy. So, there we go. Expect to get a little oily. Oh, look, I missed this one. Next up, saddle. There is a little cover. Perfect. Not guard. For this we will need this tool and this seems to be straightforward. It's this screw right here. So it's screw, washer, mud guard, through the hole, another washer and a little hex nut. Fix the hex nut with the other tool and then screw it tight. Slight pain in the butt. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Done with the setup, here we have it, a micro e-bike. That's cute. Oh yeah, that's better. Okay, let's clean it up. As always, WD-40. Whoa, okay, so I always like to do that. Just clean up all the areas that you're going to touch, especially with products that come straight out of the factory. But this one is really clean, so. That's great. The setup was easy, by the way. And this is the brick right here. On one side, of course, I have the Europe plug and on the other side, it's the plug for the bike. Little LED indicator right here. And here are all the specs. And there is more. Let's check out all the accessories. That's a tool right here. It also came with two different wrenches, two different sizes. Also, there is this back side right here. And this is a remote controller right here. And there are three buttons and if you press them, there is this blue LED indicator. That's the backside right here and it will come with a little clip on. Done with the unboxing, let's get to my first impressions. Steering bar, brakes, the handles are quite narrow. And this one, this is the throttle and it's not a partial throttle, the whole handle is the throttle, so. This is how it works. This is what it looks like from my perspective. Let's rip off this. Cover right here. We have this on off switch right here. And the horn. So let's turn it on. Battery indicator, horn. Light. The light is fixed to the frame, not to the steering. The light looks really cool though, check this out. Not fixed to the steering, it's fixed to the frame and it, it will give you this rather wide beam. 
let's turn it off and let's see it's not doing anything so i guess you have to unlock it with this so there are three buttons on this thing a lock oh my goodness unlock and the lightning bolt okay it's locked now Ooh. it has an alarm ah <laughs> interesting Unlocked, still not, still not responding. Oh, springy saddle, that's funny. Did you get that? It's a springy saddle, look at that. Nice. After studying the manual a bit, I thought the battery would be completely dead, so I hooked it up to the charger. And when I unhooked it, it worked. So check this out. It kind of vibrates, but yeah, now I can actually test it. So good stuff. Now let me tell you all about the specs and the features. These are the official product pictures, rapid fire, check it out. And now let's get to the specs and features. The material is metal, hub size, 10 inches. Then we have folded size versus, well, unfolded size. The color scheme is black and silver gray. It weighs 15 kilograms and the max load is 75 kilograms. Full speed, 25 kilometers per hour. And riding speed is actually as fast as you want. Of course, of course. Mileage, AKA range is around 40 kilometers. Uphill, up to 15 degrees. Temperature, battery, 10 amp hours, the rated power is 250 watts, the nominal voltage of the battery is 36 volts and the charging time is 6 hours from 0 to 100%, but there is no app and no Bluetooth. We have a front and a rear light, also disc brakes front and back, the height of the seat is adjustable, we have this little horn, yes, and suspension. That seems to be wrong because there is a seat suspension, but other than that there is no suspension. Maybe a comma would do the trick. Anyways, the size of the box is also noted and quantities and some other stuff. So the S2 has a lighter body. It is small and easy to carry. This is how you can fold it and you can move the saddle down low, slide it all the way in basically. It's made out of high carbon steel. Oh, there they say it weighs 13 kilograms, but a note, the Supreme Edition weighs around 15 kilograms. So yeah, I guess you could carry it with one hand as seen <laughs> in this picture. The adjustable seat height can meet people in between 150 and 175 centimeters. And that's important, as I always say, your seating height makes basically the riding posture. You need to definitely work on that if you want it to look cool. In my experience, the lower you are, the cooler it will look like on a BMX. You can take this on the subway and on the bus easily. It's really maneuverable and small. It's looking aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing. That's a personal preference of course, obviously. Here are more battery specs, 10 amp hours and it's made out of 18650 cells like a Tesla. It will last five years or more of course and the warranty is one year. This Battery of course has an integrated BMS battery management system. This will protect it from overcharging, short circuits, all of that good stuff. The hub motor is rated at 250 watts. Here you can see the actual frame under the hull and it is as solid as a rock. And it's kind of confusing because in this picture they say the maximum load bearing capacity is around 150 kilograms. That's twice as much as on the specs picture in my opinion it should be able to do the 150 i could be wrong but usually 150 should be no problem even my e-skates e-skateboards they can handle 100 plus kilograms anyways we have wear resistant tires tires are pretty cool i have to say also we have this remote key alarm you can lock it unlock it and if it's locked and someone will activate the throttle for example it will trigger the alarm this feature is basically only helpful if you're around the thing but it's nice to have i guess but as I said, the downside of this is that the bike needs to be always on for this remote control feature and this will over time drain the battery slowly but surely. Keep it in mind and always keep the bike charged. Charge it in regular intervals. Here is how the remote control works. Lock it, unlock it and you can also hit the start key to turn it on. Works up to 50 meters. Here are the disc brakes with only two meters dry braking distance and four meters wet braking distance. And they are indeed sensitive and they work 
<laughs> be careful they work really good they bite we have a front led headlight and also active backlight and the details are perfect simple central control the hollow seat disc brake with a lot of holes for intense cooling <laughs> and it's blacked out basically and lastly once again the parameters this is standard versus deluxe as you can see first of all there is a different capacity thus a different range but other than that it's fairly similar. Of course, charging time is a bit higher with more amp hours. That makes sense. And on the standard version, there is no seat damping. On a deluxe version, there is. So the one from the video is the deluxe version, apparently, because it has this seat dampener, this springy seat. That's funny. And I like it. And as always, lastly, this is just for fun, a comparison, the S2 versus my other electric vehicles. As you can see, in terms of capacity, it's rivaling my e-scooter easy way is at 6 36 volts 10 amp hours and that's a total of 360 watt hours motor power 250 this will give us a calculated full throttle you can theoretically go full throttle for 86 minutes until the battery will run empty <laughs> that's a long time and at 25 kilometers per hour this will give us a calculated range of 36 kilometers so 40 up to 40 that's at least not possible even theoretically when you're riding at full speed but i think at least 30 kilometers of range should be not an issue and that's that's a that's a lot. All right, that concludes the specs, overview, features, and all of that good stuff. Back to you, Chris. Not bad, right? Next up will be performance and usability, and right after that, a good old demo. Back to back, so let's go. Okay, so this is it. The DYU mini bike. So let's go for a little ride test. Activate the light, flip forward. Yes. Okay, hit the brakes. Hit the brakes! <whistles> oh! <laughs> nice. So what do you think? It's funny, but I hate to see it, but yeah, it's really fun to ride. Fun to ride, so the tires are tiny fat tires. I think that's the reason for the, for the nice ride feeling. You can go zigzag easily. That's the seat by the way. Is it, that's is it not soft enough for you? Yeah, that's the... That's the alarm. <laughs> okay, rate the brakes. Ooh, they're good. Brakes are good, that's nice. Rate the acceleration. 6 out of 10? Yeah. It's not that great. It's, it's not okay. that great. It's not that great, but it's okay. Alright. Rate the right feeling. 9 out of 10. 
All right, that's good. I think the form looks pretty interesting. Anything else to add? You have to push and pull it because I tried to turn it and it doesn't work. So yeah, it's push and pull and I... Push and pull, yeah. Don't turn this thing. So uh, this is my second e-bike, my second mini e-bike actually, and after riding this thing for more than two weeks, this is what I found out so far. First of all, the size, well this one is really, really small. It's literally micro. The other one was mini, this one is micro. Forget about pedaling, especially if you're a grown adult, <laughs> just forget about it, it's not possible. It doesn't matter though, because you obviously have the throttle. The acceleration is fine, but 25 kilometers per hour top speed just feels a bit boring, especially after you get used to it. It's not fast enough. The turning circle is tiny. This thing fits through doors, through hallway doors, so easily you don't even need to get up. I love it. You can drive up to any door, grab your keys, unlock it. And it's so convenient, it's unbelievable. And that's the reason why I really love this micro form factor. Form factor. And even though it's not as fast as my other bike, I do take this one more often, just because it's that convenient. It's also really light and the small size of the wheels is actually not a problem whatsoever. The size is quite similar to scooter wheels, but it's, they are way wider. Also the saddle suspension is surprisingly good and even though there is no additional suspension in the frame, it is quite a smooth ride and that's also thanks to the wide and rather soft wheels. That was definitely another pleasant surprise. The amount of shocks that the wheels absorb is... Yeah, it was a surprise. So all the important things are a okay. As you can see, the light is fixed to the frame, but it has a wide beam, so no problem there. It also has a backlight, active backlight, so it has all the street legal features basically, but there is no speedometer. It's just a battery indicator. I mean, it's not really needed, but it would be cool to have one. And other than that, it also has this alarm feature. But honestly, I don't like it because in order for this to work, it needs to be always on basically. And this will completely drain the battery after a certain time. Granted, it's a long time, at least weeks, but mine, for example, came completely empty. Long delivery time and that did it. Always on feature, alarm thingy, drained the battery. But well, if you're using it on a regular basis, then running empty, shouldn't be a problem, so just keep it in mind and granted some will enjoy this feature. But for me it just has more downsides than upsides, so that's why yeah, I don't like it. But all in all, uh, this spike is surprisingly good. It's so funny, it's so small, but it, it works. It's crazy. So it's definitely trippy. Anyways, check out the links in the description if you're interested. And before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell, and press all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon.